Hello and welcome back to Yumaniki. Finally, we're back in the main save and we have all of the dreams, all of the effects, but we're missing 9% collectibles. And that includes concept art and I don't know if the jellyfish count as uh, collectibles, probably not. But I mean, the key to the roof would be a collectible at least, and stuff like that. So that's what we're gonna focus on today, and also redoing a couple things, testing out a couple things that I mentioned last time. So let's get up and let's get started. First off, I think we'll just go to the the meadow thing, flower meadow, whatever, darkness, white flower room, just to check it out, because that's very close. We can just check that quickly. Because in, as far as I remember, in the original, once again, poor memory, I don't know this if this is true for sure, but I think in the original, if you went into the room with a white flower and then went out again, you would actually teleport somewhere else. Or maybe it was like after you had taken the flower or something, I can't remember really. It's very vague, but there was something about that in the original. And I don't think it's gonna be anything in this one, but I wanna try it out, because it's it's close. We might as well. Just to confirm, yeah, we do have Hamsa and everything. And I can double jump in this screen. I need to check that, because I wanna see if I can lantern in a screen where I can't double jump or knife, because that might like, decide if I want to do, uh, Ubois. Yeah, I can double jump here as well. I can use the lantern. It doesn't even matter. Huh. Yeah, this screen is just dark. I can still just... I'm just gonna do this one more time. And that's probably just gonna take me back. Just the same as all the other dreams, of course. Yeah, okay, then we just have to go back there again and just go out, just to check. Probably nothing. Then we'll actually get into some more fun stuff, trust me. Alright. So, back here again. Wish you could stand up quicker. And just go in and then go out again. Yeah, figured. It's nothing. Okay. I don't know if it's faster to wake up this way. Like, is the animation quicker now? No, it's the same animation. Okay, never mind. So, yeah, that was nothing. But now we've checked that. I've done that with the, the Monaco dream, I've done that with the Doc dream, Uboa, and I've done that with the Mall dream as well, so we just need to do that in... Wait, is there one more? Monaco? Like, streets? Uh, then this one, and then school, Mall, and Docks. Yeah, that's it. So it's just the uh, the school I have left. I don't know why I'm running this way, I'm going to the mall. But yeah, the school I have left to like, complete again, just to be sure. And, hmm. I might try- no, we couldn't leave like when we got to the last part. I don't know, we'll, we'll see about that later on. So let's go to the mall. So there's two things to do here. Number one, of course, the main objective is getting into this, this locked door here. But also I just want to try out the lantern. Ah! 
So right here, I can't jump at all in the screen, but I can use Hamsa, but I cannot use the, the knife or jump or use the umbrella, but you can still use the lantern. So that is what I'm thinking. That is why I want to go back to Ubois regardless. I really doubt it's going to be anything interesting, but we have to try it. Having been this thorough, I can't not do it. So we'll, we'll do that probably today if we have time. All right, so now this is the real test here. Um, wait, does it put out my lantern? No? Okay. Oh, it was just covered by a box. Oh. Oh. They actually did it. Wait, hold on. So it's just like... It's just when you're holding the lantern, they don't move. Yeah, they just don't move as long as you're holding the lantern at all. Weird. So you're just completely immune. Strange. That's not really what I... I mean, I guess that's... That's kind of an easy way to code it. Instead of having to code this radius of light being, like, impenetrable and they would walk up to that until they weren't visible anymore and then stop. That would be kind of a lot of coding and stuff. Instead, they just do it so that if you're using the lantern, they don't move. Which I guess is fair enough, I suppose. Yeah, but we still need to, like, remove the lantern and jump around a little bit. Once again, this door, nothing. Just a locked door you can't do anything with. This won't really do anything. Hold on, I'm... Hmm. Yeah, that... I guess I'll just... Hold on. I'm just gonna wait for one more cycle. And then do that. And now we can just hold it here. And now I can jump up, like, really early. Or try to, at least. Like... Uh... Now. Oh, shit. Okay, well, she moved, but I'm fine. So yeah, you can't really climb up, like, super early or anything. But yeah, that's... That's cool enough. Kind of what I expected, but... I... I... I was thinking they would do it the more complicated way, but... I would be surprised if they did, because that is a lot of coding effort. But this is the simple way to do it, so I guess that's fair enough. Alright, so what is this now? Oh, more of them? Really? Did I just hear more? Yeah, I did. Well, I guess it's good that I have the lantern. Hold on, so... If I stand here, I'm just fine. Yeah, I, I guess so. Wait, so... Oh, do you need the lantern? Maybe. Maybe it's like you have to have both the lantern and the umbrella, which is quite severe. Yeah, I think that might be it, because they're just, like, standing around here, and they won't let you pass unless you have the lantern, because there's no flickering lights or anything. Interesting. Hold on, let's wait with that. Oh, my cursor is on the screen. I don't know if... I hope that's not being recorded. I don't think I said it to be recorded. I don't remember how long it's been there. I haven't noticed until just now. God damn, if that's there the entire time, I'm gonna be really upset. I hate that stuff. 
Yeah, I've had that happen before. Oh, of course. They move when I have to remove the lantern. Okay, well, I'm fine. Take it. Rooftop key. Yep. But they can't get across here. And a door that takes me just out again. Ah, that's that door. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Uh, can I even, like, can you leave here? Do I want to try that for science? Because I've never done that. I've never, like, gone back out, right? Hi. Oh, get up. Also, I guess let's just look at the rooftop key. The label of the key says rooftop. Yep. I mean, at least that's kind of neat, that there is one area where you have to have the uh, lantern and the umbrella to actually get, like, an item and stuff. Kind of wish there was more of that stuff, but it's something more than before. And yeah, we can just go back to the mall. Okay, good. Didn't have to wake up. That might actually have been faster than... Waking up and going back to bed and walking inside and walking to the Nexus and walking to the door and going in there, maybe. So here we go. Finally, the rooftop. Which obviously won't have the same thing as it did in the original. I assume that would be very strange because we don't have the effect, but let's find out. Yeah, we have toilet key and rooftop key. Toilet key. That's wrong. Okay. Rooftop key. Oh, it's just... Oh. Wait, what's going on here? Rave monkey? Is that the Aztec Rave Monkey? I can't remember. Wait, it's like they just reused the... The, uh... Ceiling thing. Rooftop. From the last stream. That's weird. They, they don't even show it. It's just music. Like, what what's that supposed to be? Just, hey, check it out. There's music. You remember this music, don't you? And yeah, there he is. Do I wake up because of this? No, okay. You can't even jump off. Oh man, yeah, that's... You could jump off in the original if you had the witch effect. But the witch effect is not even here. This is very strange. This feels kind of pointless, like... This was a very boring screen here, and also just... Random music that wasn't there... In the original, so it's just kind of like... I don't even know. That feels a bit... Meh, to me. The Aztec Rave Monkey in the mirror is much more interesting. I don't even know if that has any impact, but... If it doesn't, that's great! Like, that's what I want. Stuff like that, where you just... You see that, and you have no idea what that- Can I please sleep? Hello? Hello? I'm pressing W. I'm a fucking moron. Jesus. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Just minor nitpick, I suppose. But there we have five or four out of six of the dudes. Is it six? No, it's five. Yeah. Okay. 
So... Um... This school is gonna take a while. Cause I, I both want to find the guy, and then I also want to like... Complete it again, probably at least once. We'll see what happens, if anything, probably nothing. So, that's gonna take a bit of time. So I think I might save that for next time. Hopefully I can like... Do that and get into the final dream next time. Surely I can, like it won't take that long. But, for the last bit here, I think I'm just gonna go and walk over once again to the Uboa area just for the sake of it. Just because we need to know, I need to know, it's very important. The uh, Toriningen isn't here. Oh, I guess she does respawn. Yeah, I forgot about that. Ah, can't fly over that. But yeah, so strap in another boring walk. We have to go through here yet again. And the pink sea and all that takes a bit of time. But this is one of the only things I haven't done yet in the game. So I really want to do it. Maybe I can even like do both. Maybe, maybe when we get through here, I'll do this part and then I can go and at least open the toilet and do that. But then I'll finish the school dream next time. Cause then I have like more of a guarantee to have time for whatever is in the final area. That could be a thing. I am dead. What am I doing? God damn it. I should have just waited. Guess I gotta die at least once there, every time. Alright, there we go. Uh, that was weird. I held it normally, like, double jumped as I normally do, and she just didn't pull it out until she was already in the water. No, hold on. Come on. Lantern. There we go. For some atmosphere and probably further dropped frame rates in this area. Great! Yeah, I'm kind of sad that there's so many of these, like, forced perspective... ...only move left and right scenes. I understand why it's, like, to prevent fully 3D modeling stuff. Like, this entire place exploring it would be kind of huge. And it already has a terrible frame rate, so, you know, that kind of stuff. But, what was that? That was weird. But it's a bit of a shame that they're so restrictive, again, like, both in movement and what you can use and stuff. And that there wasn't more to it, like that witch's woods or whatever, dense woods com combination. That was a, a fun area. And... It's not really much in this one. Just like walk through it and that's it. I just noticed a very weird thing. I've been complaining a bit about the jumping being horribly inconsistent. Like, sometimes you can jump whenever you want and sometimes you can't. That might be either just something in the game or a problem with my keyboard. Because if I press up and to the left, I, I can't jump. It doesn't let me at all. But down to the right works totally fine, down to the left works totally fine, up to the right totally fine. Everything else is perfect. But if I press up and to the left, I cannot jump. At least not on this screen. That can't be... the case. That's very strange. Yeah, I can't even double jump, like if I hold up and jump, and then try to double jump while holding 
up and to the left, can't do that either. So I have to like, go over here, jump to the left, and then, oh my god, yeah, it's like, I can't press space and up and left at the same time? That, that's not a thing with my keyboard. There's no way, I've played plenty of games where I've done that, haven't I? I'm very confused. That's a very odd, specific thing. I, I guess if anyone has played this game, let me know. Can you, in this particular screen, hold up and to the left and jump? Is it possible? I don't know. Very odd. And here we go. All right. Moment of truth. Let's find out. Can I use the lantern in here? I, I'm leaning towards you actually being able to use the lantern because it seems like you can use it in in most screens, so hopefully. But the question is, will it make any difference? Maybe not. Maybe it won't affect anything at all. We'll see. I can't use the fucking lantern! Why can I use Hamsa? But not the stupid lantern, come on! Oh, that's so boring! That is so boring, please! Why not? Just have it be like a simple thing where you hold up the lantern and as you walk close to him you can ac actually just see Ubwa. That's all you have to do! Just see him and then you still walk into him and you get the weird like running noise and whatever it is. Like, I don't even get this this whole thing. Running footsteps and slashing sound. It makes no sense. Ah, oh, what a disappointment. And I guess we'll we'll have to end it there on that disappointment. I'll jump in next time and we'll go straight into the school and definitely finish that as quickly as I can so we can at least begin. Like, I don't know how long the final super dream is gonna be, or super ending. We'll see, I suppose. At least we did one interesting thing today, so that's fun. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!